Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For those who value education, dear children, after watching this video, you will be acknowledged about what is government, how the government of our country is formed, number of states in India, what is union territory, and number of union territories in our country. So let's begin. You know very well children, our country is a very big country. It is the seventh largest country in the world with diverse culture and around 136 crore population. Now, somebody should be there to take the responsibility of safety, security and welfare of the people of our country. Like in every family, there is a particular member who is the head of the family who takes care of the welfare, safety and security of the family members in the same way. In our country, our government takes the responsibility of the people of our country. You might be wondering children, what is this government? So here is the definition of government. The group of people with the authority to govern a country or a state is known as government. Now, what does this government do? The government also works towards managing the country's resources in ethical and responsible manner. It also protects its people both from external and internal danger. Children, coming to the first point is central government. Parliament is the law-making body of the central government. Parliament consists of president and two houses that is Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. There is also Council of Ministers headed by Prime Minister to advise the President to carry out his or her duty. So, President is the head of the Government of India. Coming to the next point is Lok Sabha. Lok Sabha is the lower house of the Parliament. People of each state elect its member to represent them in the Lok Sabha. They are known as Member of Parliament, that is MP. They are elected for specific period of five years. And again, after five years, a fresh election is held for the next five years. The Speaker is an important officer of the Lok Sabha. He or she conducts the proceeding of the Lok Sabha. Let's move on. To our next point that is Rajya Sabha. Rajya Sabha is the permanent house of the parliament. Members of Rajya Sabha are elected by the members of state assembly. Twelve members are nominated by president in Rajya Sabha. Vice president is the chairman of Rajya Sabha. Now coming to the next is state government. How our state government works? Each state has its own government. State governments consist of governor, chief ministers and other ministers. Governor is the head of the state. People of the state, they cast vote and elect their representative who are called as members of legislative assembly that is MLA. The legislative assembly is a body which makes law and governs the state. So the main duty of the legislative assembly is to make the specific laws for the state. You know children, there are 29 states in our country. Given on the screen are the names of the state and their capitals. Kindly refer it. Now coming to our next point is Union Territories. Do you know children? What is Union Territory? First of all, given on the screen is the names of Union Territories and their capitals. Now I will tell you what is Union Territory. Union Territories are ruled directly by the central government. Has an Lieutenant Governor as the Administrator. So children, we have come to the end of this video. Hope you like it. And children, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you get 
the upcoming updates of my video.